Hey you guys, welcome to our Arizona home empty house tour. We moved here yesterday and I still cannot believe that we are actually living here now, but I'm so excited to turn you guys around and just take you through our new Arizona home. So let's go. I wanna hear you say it. So before you go into the house, we have this little covered area and kind of off to the left. I'm going to be putting some little outdoor furniture here just kind of for a sitting area. And then straight ahead, you just walk into the front door. So right when you walk into the front door, this is the view that you see. And I love it because you can see the staircase going upstairs. And then that's gonna be our like family room just straight ahead and it has these really tall ceilings which you guys know we love. And then off to the left, this is what is going to be our guest room. Right now there are no doors on it, but we're planning to put in some French doors right here. And then at the moment they are just housing all of my plants that basically all of them made it except my poor lemon tree. I don't think survived that one, but we are also gonna add in like a closet right here is the plan, but this is the guest room and that will be great for our parents that are getting a little bit older. And then right to the right of the door, of the front door right there, is my new office, and I am in love with this so much. It has these big, gorgeous barn doors, and then you walk in here, it has like some coves right here, and it's actually open up above into the rest of the home. It has really tall ceilings and lots of natural light and just beautiful windows, so. I cannot wait to get my desk in here and get everything all set up and start editing some videos in here. So coming back out of my office, you go down the hallway a little bit and off to the left, you have a little powder room, which would be great just to have guests use when they come over. We are actually planning to paint most of the walls in this house. A lot of them are like some different colors that we're not too fond of. And then a lot of them just have like little spots that we'll either have to paint with the existing paint color if we can find it or possibly paint the walls. So we're not sure, but there's a lot, a lot of things that we're planning to do to this house just to make it ours and we're super excited. So this is the bathroom. I'm turning around and show you Kyle's new office. So standing back in the hallway, when you go away from the bathroom, right across is going to be what normally would be the formal dining room, but we are not fancy people. And so this is actually just going to be Kyle's office. He doesn't really need like a closed off office like I do for voiceovers and stuff. He is just going to have this like more open office. We are going to be changing out this light chandelier for something a little bit more modern, possibly painting that back wall. It's like a red color, but I'm excited to kind of like make this space <laughs> special for him. And then right here we have this beautiful staircase that goes up and around and it kind of like overlooks this area and it also looks into the great room which we will get to in just a minute. So before we go too much further, I do wanna say there's a lot of things that we actually are hoping to kind of switch up and change up around the house. We want to do a lot of painting. We wanna refinish the kitchen a bit because the cabinets are original and they're just not in the best shape. Um, I, I can't even think off the top of my head like all the things, but Kyle and I have like a running list of things that we just want to change up and just make everything our own here. So I am going to show you everything in the entire house, but there are a lot of things that are going to be different once we start our little DIY process through the house. So just keep that in mind. I'll kind of try to touch on a few things that I know right away that we're going to want to change. And of course, all the projects we will be sharing on either my channel or the vlog channel, 
but it'll all be being shared so make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss out on all that content but let's go ahead and continue on with the house tour another thing that we love about this house is this beautiful wall the wood that's in there actually is the same as the rest of the house's flooring and i just think that's so pretty so i'm excited i'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with that space we talked about possibly putting up the same world map that we had in our previous home in our utah home but we're not really sure at this moment but we just we think that's really cool and that'll be like kind of a fun view for kyle to see as he's sitting at his desk and then coming over through kyle's office you actually walk into a butler's pantry i am so excited about this part i've never had a butler's pantry at all and i just think it's gonna be perfect to have like appliances and things like that and tons and tons of cabinetry in here i'm really excited about all this and then to the left of the butler's pantry is the actual pantry it's kind of like an odd shape because this goes underneath the stairs but there's tons of space i think we're actually going to add more shelving up here just to make it a little bit more functional and then going right through the butler's pantry you come into the kitchen and i'm actually going to step back and kind of show you it's like not totally clean in here but it's pretty good um, i'm going to show you a better view of the kitchen so right here we have of course just our dining room area and then this is actually set up just like our utah home pretty much but you have like some little cabinetry off to the right along with a fridge and then you have double ovens in the wall over there and then just a regular um, electric griddle or electric stove and then this big island so this is going to be kind of neat because we in our utah home if you remember we had our stove on this side and then our sink with a window right here but this way i'll be doing dishes watching the family instead of cooking so i'm not sure if i'll like it better or not it'll be different and we still just love it This is the view from the kitchen into the great room or living room, whatever you want to call it. And we're really excited to get a new couch in here and just get it all furnished. So in the living room, it has this beautiful floor to ceiling stone that goes above like the fireplace area. And then also this built-in cabinetry with glass shelving. So that'll be a really fun to just decorate in there. Um, I don't know if you can really see how dark it is in here actually, but the paint color that the previous owners had is like this really dark gray and i think we're going to lighten it up just a bit because it ends up making the room just feel a lot darker especially with like the dark flooring and everything so that is one thing that we're going to be doing is painting this area as well and then coming out of the living room you walk down this little hallway and off to the left you have a like mud room slash laundry room so we obviously have to get a washer and dryer and i think that i might end up changing these out and doing like a laundry room makeover in here just to kind of make it our own style in here and make it more functional for us and then over here we obviously just have our calendar but here's like some shelving that we can use to hang clothes and then this door right here just leads out to the garage So this is the laundry room and then right through here is actually the master bedroom but before i take you into the master bedroom and bathroom i want to take you upstairs and show you the boys room and our new media like theater room so let's go ahead upstairs Okay, so right when you come up the stairs, off to the right is going to be our theater room. So I'll show you that in just a minute, but I wanted to show you this. This actually is a cutout in the wall and it just overlooks the living room or great room, whatever you call it. And I just love, it kind of has that same feel as our Utah home did, but a little bit more closed off, but still open. So I do love that. But then over this way, this is one of my favorite spots it has the windows and it's just so beautiful and open so when you look over the banister you can see into kyle's office and then that's going to be my office and then off to this way you have 
the guest room in the front and then that little bathroom right there. All right, so continuing down this hallway, you walk into this little room and this is kind of not really sure exactly what we're gonna do. I think we're actually gonna make like a little home gym. Over so here. right here, I think we're gonna put like treadmill and bike and then probably like some flooring and yoga mats right here, possibly like a small TV just so we can put our workouts up there. But we're really excited to kind of have like a designated workout space. And then we're thinking if there's enough room to put our game table in here and that way we can still like have games in this area, but also <laughs> work out right here. So then off to the right, you just have this like built-in desk. I think I'm gonna refinish all of this. I talked about possibly like taking it out and just making something more modern, but I think I can actually just refinish the cabinetry because it is pretty nice still. And then maybe like adding some nice hardware onto here, but just making it feel a little bit more modern. Oh, we need to still clean out, but that's okay. Okay, and then off to the right, is actually going to be the hallway to the boys room but i'm first going to take you out here which is one of my favorite areas in the house so this is so amazing it's just like a little balcony area but it's covered so it kind of blocks a lot of the sun and in the morning it's totally shaded like this so we're really excited to put like some hammocks or possibly like some outdoor furniture sectional or something. I know they had like a hanging chair up here. We might just do some different things in here, but this we're really excited about this area as well. So coming back inside, walking this way, you have a hallway. This is just a linen closet, which is really nice size. And then walking down the hallway, we have one bathroom right here. So it has like a little tub and toilet room and then dual sinks, which is really nice. And then off to the right, we have a super pink room. <laughs> this one is going to be Liam's room. He picked this one out. And I'm gonna take you guys outside once we're done too, but I'm gonna give you like a little sneak peek <laughs> of the backyard. It's incredible. So of course we are going to be painting all of these rooms, but this one's Liam's, then you come back out and into this bedroom. And this one is also gonna be painted and probably changing out that chandelier, but this one is going to be Noah's room. And then they actually have a Jack and Jill bathroom that goes into the third bedroom, which is going to be Luke's room. And so you have again, dual sinks and another little like shower and bathtub area and our cats are just making themselves at home. And then this is going to be Luke's bedroom, which this one is the biggest bedroom. <laughs> Again, we are going to be painting in here and kind of like doing their own room makeovers in here, but Luke's is going to be really pretty good size. And then these two are still gonna be like good size. I think we are going to get them like full beds and that way they have a little more room when they wanna do like their sleepovers. So I'm just walking through that hallway and I'm gonna take you into the theater room. So walking into the theater room, you actually have another powder room. It's just a toilet and a sink. And then in here you have a really large space. I think originally this was not a bedroom, but they ended up transforming it into a bedroom, but we are just going to use it as like a media area. And so this is kind of what it looks like from back here. They also have like a closet built in right there. And then our plan for this is actually to take, not take this wall down, but eventually add a door right here and then put a patio area out here, like a balcony, which will be over the downstairs patio. So just to kind of like have some more outdoor space. It's one of the big reasons why we wanted to move to Arizona was to have more outdoor time. I know in the summer you obviously are like stuck indoors, unless you have a pool, which was definitely a mess. So we do have a pool out there, but the rest of the time, like I just think we're gonna be outside so much, just having a lot of good family time. And so we thought this would be really cool to add in a balcony right there. We know it can be done, so that's kind of our plan. And then down this hallway is the master bedroom. So you walk into it in like this corridor kind of area. I don't really know, foyer area. So off to the left of the master bedroom, you have like this little nook area. So I think I'm actually going to make like that be a little sitting area. We're planning to put our bed right here. And then I hope to actually do an accent wall. So if you guys have like any ideas on 
colors or styles for an accent wall, definitely let me know below, but that is kind of our plan. And then off to the right, you have an opening to go outside. So this is the master bathroom and I just love it. I feel like all the colors are amazing and just the style. And honestly, it's like very large. We've never had a bathroom like this before, but we have like a glass shower off to the right. And then this is going to be Kyle's vanity. He just has some cabinetry on the bottom and a sink. And then you have this area with some really nice, beautiful windows and a bathtub. And then straight ahead, like when you walk in from that door, you have my vanity area. And I am so excited because I've never actually had like a sit down vanity area to put my makeup on. So I'm just super excited about that. And then we have a little toilet room and this is insane. We have never ever had a closet like this or dreamed of having a closet like this. It's just massive. And we actually didn't even realize it was this big until they moved all of their things out. And once they took all of it out, we were like, oh my gosh, this is like, Huge, we just, it's crazy in here. That, I'm thinking, I think that's everything in this house. We are so excited about it. There's a lot of things that we have planned to do to this house. Like I said, a lot of things are painting the walls, changing out light fixtures, things like that. There's also, um, we wanna kinda change up the bathroom and that guest room, like we said, but there's just a lot of things that we want to do to this house. There's also, we want to finish up the kitchen in here. The cabinets I think are original, which means they're probably like about 15 years old, maybe older, I don't know. But like they're actually peeling over here and they're like cracking and they're just not in the best shape. And some of them like don't quite close the right way. <laughs> so we're gonna try to get like some new hinges on them and see if we can just paint it ourselves and do like a kitchen makeover on a budget. Either way, we'll be sharing all of this with you guys. But now that I've shared the inside of the house, let's go ahead to the backyard. This is where, this is where we're probably gonna be spending most of our time. And this was truly like what just sent the whole house over the top and made us think, yes, this is the one for us. We walked into this house when we first got here and I just started crying in the driveway, just like feeling like this is the one before we even stepped foot and the feeling just carried throughout. So this is our new Arizona home. All right, this is the view that you see right when you walk out of the dining room and you walk into this patio area and I'm excited to get like some furniture in here, maybe add like some curtains, I'm not really sure, but I'm really excited for this area just for like some outdoor entertainment area. And then over to the right, you have like some nice grass area. We are going to get a trampoline put over here, but for now we have like this tether ball and then the little playground equipment and the boys are loving and already just like running around the grass and just playing in this. It's been so much fun. We have a lot of trees and like landscaping around here, which we love. It's just like an outdoor oasis for us. So we're super excited about this. This is just like another view of that patio area. Over here, we have like this outdoor kitchen with, it's really just a grill and then a really nice countertop area. And this is actually the same stone that they used on the fireplace inside. So it all just looks super cohesive. And then here is the pool. This is our favorite spot. So it's a really nice, like big rectangle style pool and it actually has a deep end over there with a slide. And then also you have like the spa right here and it waterfalls into the pool. It's just so amazing. And then we have this outdoor furniture out here. That's like really the only furniture we have in the house at the moment but we have a couple of umbrellas and then like this big bed and then those two loungers over there. And this is basically where we have been just hanging out while we wait for all of our stuff to arrive. So we're actually going to be changing out the pool or the pool filtration system or whatever for a saltwater pool. And there are a few little issues with the pool. So we actually are going to be changing those out soon. So we're actually gonna have to drain the pool and get all that stuff fixed. Just there's like some maintenance things that needs to be fixed on it. 
So we're gonna get that done I think this week and then it should be good to go. But this is definitely like where we plan to spend basically all of our extra time. And then I almost forgot to show you off to the side of the house. We actually have this little area. So I think Kyle's gonna end up putting like a little golf hole at the end of this and just practice his putting when he can't make it to the golf course, which would be super fun because my brother-in-law actually loves golf as well and so does Luke. So that'll be a lot of fun for them. So that is our Arizona house tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed just seeing our new home and where all of my future videos are going to take place. We cannot wait to make this house our own, put our own touch on it, do some DIYs, things like that. We are so incredibly excited and we're so grateful for this next step in our journey. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely make sure that you subscribe down below if you have not already and that way you don't miss out on all the projects that we have planned for this space. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.